going to show you how to make these little notepads for keeping track of life totals out of just some notebook paper, a throwaway book, and a few MTG cards. So this is a book binding you can buy from the hobby store. I mean, you probably even pick it up at Walmart. Uh, but I didn't want to pay for one, so I just took one and pulled it off of a old notebook. And I'm going to cut it down to size. I'm going to be using eight prongs uh, for the little book I'm making. And just cut it off with the pair of needle nose pliers. The edge is barbed now, so I'm just going to fold it over and we'll clamp it down to itself. So our spring is good to go. Now we'll just take the binding and put it onto a magic card so that we can go ahead and mark where we're going to punch the holes at. Then this one will be able to serve as our template throughout the entire project. So grab a sharpie here and I'm just going to throw a dot on the card at each prong. Pull the binding back off. And just normal single hole punch. And so that simple. And then we'll just take them, lay it over our second card. And the covers for our book are completed. So just go ahead and move those to the side for right now. And uh, whenever it comes to making the pages, you can use a pair of scissors, but I happen to have one of these paper slicing things. So all I did is I went ahead and marked on it at three and an eighth inch and two and a quarter inch. Those are the measurements I'm using so that the paper will be slightly smaller and fit within the cards that we're using to be the covers. So three inches that way. Well, three and an eighth inches that way and two and a quarter this way. Okay, cut out several. Now my hole punch is not the best in the world by any means, so I can't do too many pieces of paper at the same time. But simple enough, just take the pieces of paper, center them up over the dots, pull to one side, and then just go down punching out the holes from our template. And so after you do that a whole lot of times, end up with a stack of paper. You don't really want to go over 70. Um, 40 is about a good number. This one here has only got 35 left in it. It's a little too thin for my liking. But, so, let's see. That there's the front cover. Here's our back cover. So now we just have to take and slip it all into the binding. And now I'm going to do about half the pages at a time just so it's easy to keep the dots lined up. The first stack of pages in the binding. Only thing left to put on the back cover. So now that we've got everything there, we're just going to take and pinch these together a little bit. You want to clamp down, but you want a little bit of overlap so pages aren't slipping through and snagging as you flip through it. And there you go. For anybody who likes to keep track of their life totals and their opponent's life totals with pen and a paper, uh, just something neat, something different that you don't see every day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.